Hi everyone, hope you can see me. Welcome to another video. I had my family birthday party last night with Lisa's parents and my parents and my uh, daughter and her husband Jacob and they did pretty good for themselves this year. <laughs> it's the big 5'5", five five. I'm 55 years old. I get free McDonald's coffees, I get Soup Plantation for $8.99 with a drink. Soup Plantation has gone up to $12.99 without a drink and $2.59 if you want a drink. So $13, $14.15.50 per meal at Soup Plantation. But I'm 55 and I get it for $8.99. I get free drinks at Taco Bell. Can you believe it? Turning 55 is like awesome. So anyways, we met at KFC in uh, Hemet last night because if I'm not at Sioux Plantation, I'm at KFC. And uh, it was just a better meeting place. Um, my daughter and her husband live up in Yakaipa. Uh, Lisa's parents live in Rancho Cucamonga. And they're always coming down to check on things, Grandma and everything in uh, Hemet, and uh, my mom lives in San Jacinto, so we went out there and it was better just to meet at KFC. So let's get to this mess. They did pretty good actually and they had reasons to do it. So my stepfather, oh I gotta start this off right, so if, if there's a lot of cuts and edits in this, it's because I'm going to try to cut out all the nonsense and just get to the point here, as I think and go along here. So my mother hands me a bag at dinner with my birthday gift in it, right? I'm not going to go through all the cards and everything. But I open it up, and my mother gives me a VHS tape. Now my mom... Bless her heart. I mean, this thing is disgusting. And she thinks I need to record stuff on VHS. So, it ended up being a trick and a gag gift, and she knew what she was doing. She also gave me some Disney socks. And I should probably show you my old Disney socks. I've worn holes in the bottom of them. So wherever she got those, but this whole thing was a gag gift from my mom and Bill. She picked a guy after my dad passed away. She mourned a little bit. She didn't want to be alone, and she picked another wonderful guy named Bill. That's right. So he is a very cool guy, and he saw us playing croquet as all of you saw was playing croquet I'm cheap remember I'm cheap when it comes to myself and stuff um, I like to spoil my wife as you all know so I bought this uh, Walmart croquet set I think they're eight bucks he saw me playing with it he bought me a croquet set <laughs> These are murder weapons. And then he says, how come we don't get invited to come over and play croquet? So that'll be happening. And um, I'm afraid to play him. Even though he's got a knee out or whatever, he's a professional bocce ball and shuffleboard player. My mom and him play tournaments. You can't believe how serious shuffleboard can be. But So that was really cool. He got me a better professional croquet set. And then, so this is what I had inside the store. And I'm sitting there going, oh my gosh, my parents are just, they really lost the VHS tape. Then, another story, I hope I cut this all up. It's going to be an awfully long video. Um, I have nephews, my sister's kids, and Christopher... Let's give a shout out to Christopher. He's BB Gun Bros. BB Gun Bros on YouTube. And he shoots his guns. He's an amazing shot. 
And uh, my younger nephews that live in Bonzel Fallbrook area, they used to put up, they're not shooting their BB guns so much, but anyways, you have to check out BB Gun Bros. So my stepdad, Bill, thought I should get along with that. So he bought me, here's the box. He bought me a new BB gun. A new Daisy BB gun. Which is so cool. I don't know if he knew this, but I'm showing this to him. I already have the same exact one. So now instead of doing 10 paces turn and fire with my wife with water pistols, we have BB guns. <laughs> don't worry, honey. I won't make it turn and fire with BB guns. But I'll have to talk to Christopher and... Uh, I don't want to step on his parade at BB Gun Bros, BB Gun Bros on YouTube. But Bill thought that I needed a new BB gun. That is awesome. Okay, next. This is going to be forever. We'll go to Lisa's parents. So Lisa's parents know that I love Disney collectibles. So they got me a 1960s, I hope you can see that, Disney American, American Parade, see that? That's a rare find. That's a nice collectible. So thank them for that. And y'all, no one can go wrong if they buy me a coin. So they also, I'm into Morgan dollars right now. So they got me an awesome Morgan dollar. That was pretty cool. What else, what else, what else? Uh, my daughter and Jacob got me these great picnic plates. Picnic plate set. And they get the award of the night. Because I'll probably put it in the eyes I scared Lisa. They bought me poppers. So I was shooting off poppers inside a KFC. If you happened to be there last night, it, there wasn't gunfire happening, even though some people looked like they were gonna duck and cover. But uh, just be warned if you're hanging out with me the next few days, this weekend coming up or whatever, that uh, you're probably gonna get scared by poppers. Oh, also Bill even gave me this, this bell thing to shoot at. So if we hit that with a BB perfectly, it ought to come back and you'll put your eye out. So that's, that's great. That's great. Targets, more cards, and oh yeah, my sweet tooth, candy, mostly from my wife. My wife got me one of these uh, car wiper things to dust your car. Um, I think they're hit or miss. I'll have to check this one out. I think sometimes some of these uh, put little scratches in your car. Someone can leave me a comment if they like and tell me um, if these are safe to use or not. But instead of washing the car all the time, I just use a microfiber cloth a lot of times. And I don't know if I've showed you these uh, Armor All wash wipes I use. But thank you, honey. She got me a couple of shirts because she knows I go through these type of shirts a lot. I like these like golf style shirts and I don't like to wear them all the time. So I wear them like for a few months and then I throw them out all the time. So I constantly need a new supply of these type of shirts. Um, she got me a coin, a Morgan coin. These are very nice, very nice, nice. Oh, and then she got me, this is an original um, Duncan brand, glow in the dark, um, the bottom part of the packaging is missing obviously, but a yo-yo, um, collectible, I'll have to look this up, I said I don't know what date it is, but she got this also um, at the coin store. So that was pretty cool. And then she added to my Disney pin trading, 
collectibles. So she got me some really nice ones that she knows I wouldn't spend the money on and buy myself. But I don't know if you can see these or not, but I don't really wear my pins. I just this is awesome. This is a photo of Walt Disney in a frame that Mickey's holding. That's pretty cool. So if you're not into Disney pin trading or know how to do it, um, it's pretty cool at Disneyland. All the cast members have pins and they have to trade with you. So obviously you don't trade away your you know, 10, 20, $50 pin for a dollar pin, but you come across, you can buy grab bags of pins on like eBay or whatever, and then you take those into Disneyland with you and see, and then you know the very cool one and you go, sorry, but you have to trade me my 50 cent pin for your $10 pin. So that's this thing that I like to do also sometimes. And I think that's about it. Oh, and the other present, I'm going to turn off the camera and then just restart it real quick. I'm going to go outside um, because uh, Lisa planted me sunflower plants are my favorite plant uh, a few weeks ago, and I just want to show how they're coming up great. So thank you to my family for um, my awesome evening, last evening on my birthday. Um, and then the rest of you know what's happening tonight, Friday night. That's when the party's going to happen. So, all right, continue on. Thanks for watching. First, I wanted to show these two plants. These are left over from last year's plant. And at first, I thought they were just going to be miniature duds. You never know what you're going to get. But every year, um, we've lived here a couple years, I plant my sunflower plant here. And they get higher than the fence. They, they go probably oh eight or so feet tall then put a huge flower out so I didn't replant these this year because once you uh, plant a sunflower plant and let the seeds dry you know through the summer and fall and then the winter they'll fall over and the seeds will automatically fall on the ground and give you another plant but look what my wife did it took her a couple times secretly and I may have to thin these out, but look how good they're doing. And she had to plant these a couple times because I guess we had a rodent or a bird or something that would watch her plant. And they um, ate them. But now look. Now look at these. These are probably two weeks old. Oh, and see, you can see how they got, they get eaten off. But some are surviving. Look at that. I'm going to have an awesome row. Because we don't know what we're going to do with the rest of our yard. And a couple have even survived over on this side. So that is an awesome gift from my wife, too. Because now we'll always have sunflowers growing here. Unless we decide to do a pool or whatever. I, I don't want another pool. But anyways, that's it. Everyone have their great day. And we'll see you soon. Thank you all very, very, thank you all very, very much for watching us. <laughs> it's a kick. And all the relatives back east and in Pennsylvania, I'm glad I can find a way to share my life with you all. Thank you. Bye.